the playoffs, Adam Virgo, it's to expect the unexpected, especially uh, given the events of the last seven days. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, the last seven days and the last ten years of National League playoffs in the Vanarama. But these are the occasions that you live for as a player, you live for as a fan, you live for as a manager. But now you're coming into this semi-final game, you're one game from Wembley Stadium. The meaning of what it means to these players in the club, and you've got a fresh side in Barnet playing at home where they have been formidable, strong against the Solihull Moors sides that just played a game on Wednesday, slightly less rest for Andy Wings' team. Jerome Akimo over on the left of the defensive three today due to the return to the side of Adi Oluo. Pitchard brought down by Clark for a kick to Barnet. Of course, Solihull Moors will be keeping a close eye on Kabamba. Nodded over the top in the end by the returning Adi Oluo. Irish goalkeeper. Joined in January and soon displaced Laurie Walker as number one choice. Jamie Osborne will swing it over this time. He did a bit of everything on Wednesday night. Brilliant game, and that is a super goal. Jack Clark heading it in. What a start this is for Solihull Moors. Barely six minutes gone, and Andy Wingside have taken the lead. That was not in the script, but these are the playoffs. Dale Gorman, the captain, will deliver an in-swinger. All the usual suspects are forward. And they will stay forward for another corner. Luke Freeman will whip this one in for the Bees. We'll head on it out to Carnu. Hartigan now, finding Gorman. Freeman is still available. It's Whitmore's clearance for Solihull Moors. Kimo, Barnett having to be patient. Here's Carnu. Will take on Ben. Freeman's chips a good one. Collins couldn't get on the end of it. Here's Gorman. It's over the top. Barnett getting better all the time. The first uh, quarter of this match. Gorman's latest delivery, Hayes under pressure, but surviving. Uh, the promotion final is next Sunday, we'll be on air from two. Here's Osborne, good ball that, Stevens is in, and it's 2-0, Solihull Moors! Three goals in three games for Jack Stevens. Andy Wing's side in the driving seat now. We start with a bounce ball, of course. Collins finds a Kimo. Kanu taking on Ben again and hitting the better of him this time. Idris Kanu's cross, Kabamba! Oh, what a chance that was for Barnett. Just the sort of opportunity that he gobbles up. Not this time, though. Finally, talking about moving the ball quickly. Determined to absorb all of the Barnet pressure, and they're doing a good job at it. Deep across this time from Cropper. Pritchard. Well to get that in, but it was too close to the goalkeeper. And this around. 30 minutes left in the 90. As Tyree Shade comes forward for Solihull Moors. Looking for a third and what would surely be a killer goal in this time. It's Sabara, he's in. Vitally important save, Campbell. It is 3-0 and Solihull Moors. Absolutely delirious. The game plan has worked to perfection today for Andy Wing. Understandably so. This little back heel from Campbell. Solihull Moors could finish this with a fourth. It's Joe Sabara. He's onside. Sabara to seal it. It's four. The icing on the cake for Solihull Moors, who are on their way to Wembley twice in a week. A 4 0 victory at the Hive. Outstanding performance from Andy Wing and his players.